So for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that one of the things I used to talk about a lot were comic books and comic pros and what the industry was doing. And I still do to an extent. I also still do comic book reviews, but more so on my other channel. And one of the big reasons I stopped talking about them is because a lot of the people that work in comic books, they're not very nice people and they don't really do anything to help the industry. And to be honest, a lot of the comic books that are on the shelves right now are not very good. The majority of them are bad. And I'm not the only one that recognizes this. And I think a lot of people have moved on to manga and anime. A lot of that audience that Marvel and uh, DC wants, they've moved on to other mediums. Uh, manga and anime sales are on the rise. They're doing good. And we're going to go over that in a second. But, you know, I, I think there's still demand for this stuff. But the problem is nobody wants the American stuff because it's not very good. And I can say that with confidence for one reason alone is because, well, My Hero Academia is doing quite well. And that that manga, anime, however you, however you take that in, is very inspired by Western superheroes. And people over in the West love it. They watch it. They read it. They take it in. They buy the merchandise. It's very popular. It's everything comics want to be. The problem is... Uh, we can get into it for a second. The The storytelling for the Eastern stuff is much better because they're not bound by any kind of checkboxes or ideologies. They're not trying to push things. The main thing that they're worried about doing is telling a good story, whereas in the West, they want to use your superheroes as kind of a political vehicle for them to get whatever they're, whatever they're pushing across. People don't like that. It's one of the big reasons I truly do believe that American comics are on the downfall. And I will admit there's more than just the story. Another problem with American comics is the price. $4. Sometimes, depending on the book, 8 A lot of the good X-Men books that have been coming out, they're all 5 or 6 and so on and so on. The price is ridiculous, and you're not getting a lot for the value. You're not getting a lot out of the book, right? Four to four to eight dollars is a lot of money, and in modern comics, you can't just read one. You usually have to read a bunch if you want to keep up because they have tie-ins and events and always trying to milk more money out of you. And to be honest, the product that they're selling for that high price tag is just not that good. Whereas you have something like manga, which gives you tons of content for ten dollars. But what's going on here? Everyone's whining about piracy. What I find really funny, though, about all of this is they seem to act like this is a new thing. This is nothing new. Piracy has been going on for a long, long time, and it affects more than just comics. Uh, the thing is they think that people that are pirating their stuff are going to automatically start buying their books if they couldn't do that. Uh, that's not the case. Another funny fact here is that these people that are whining about piracy literally live in a hug box. Uh, if you follow me, Odds are, if you click on like this guy's name right here, you're blocked because they run blockchains on people that follow me and others that talk about stuff on YouTube. They run blockchains on us and block all of our followers. So people that like me that talk about comics that can potentially send them sales, uh, they block and it automatically sends a bad taste in their mouth. They do this to themselves. And if you're wondering what they're talking about, oh, I'm sure they're talking about comics. No, all they do is sit around and have one-sided conversations with Trump all day. They, they, they literally sit there and talk about him and tweet at him all day. Like Dan Slott, former writer of Spider-Man, by the way, literally has been having a one-sided conversation with Trump for about four years now. Tweets at him every day. He don't have any idea who Dan Slott is, but he just keeps tweeting at him. It's literally all they do, which is part of the problem because... They've done really nasty things. A creator known as John Malin comes to mind. Uh, he voted for the orange man. And because of that, they literally kicked him out of the industry and canceled him. Uh, one of the editors at Marvel literally said, uh, if we ever find out that you voted for him, we'll remember win or lose and we'll kick you out of the industry. And it's just been getting worse. But they've been whining about it for so long and so hard now that the BBC has even come in and wrote, Rise of comic book piracy? A real problem? It's not a real problem. It's been going on for a long time. In fact, I just want to point out, anime and manga face the same problems. 
they are probably pirated more because unlike American comic books, uh, anime and manga is actually popular. And despite piracy, they've had record high sales for the sixth year in a row. The overseas market has also went up. The anime and manga industry is worth a lot of money. Now, I'm saying manga, this is only on anime. I don't really know where to find reliable figures for sales on this stuff. So I just go off when it's reported. This originally comes from ANN, but not the best source. But the stuff that they're showing is actually pretty good here. And I think it's pretty believable that the sales for this stuff is up, given the popularity that it has right now. And, and Hollywood sees this too, by the way. This is why Sony bought Funimation. And they want to do that streaming service now because streaming services are up. Uh, home market stuff is down, which is DVDs, Blu-rays, et cetera, et cetera. Those sales are down, but that's largely due to streaming, which seems like it's up. Either way, sales are good. And there's a lot of reasons that sales are up, but you can rest assured that there's plenty of people sailing the high seas when it comes to anime. They're like, I'm not going to pay for this streaming service. It's just a point that I want to make that piracy isn't that big of a deal. The money still comes in. Most people still support stuff. They're still making hand over and fist and money. However, comic creators, they're whining because they're not making any money. Well, we can just go to the numbers themselves and see. So these are shipped units. Now, yeah, you have a few up here in the 80,000s, but these are all big name books. Highest is 200,000. That's it. And that's only one book. Numbers are terrible. Sales have been down for years on comic books. Uh, when you get to the creator-owned books, the ones that they're really mad about down here, uh, they show up around 20, you know, sometimes less than 30,000 books sold. I don't think very many creator-owned books make more than 25-something, 25,000-something 25, units. They don't do very well. And part of that is their own fault because they don't do very well in promoting it. Like I said before, they block just about everybody. I mean, if you combined every big channel, at least, you know, that that criticizes these people uh, and added them up, you'd have a lot of Twitter followers that they're missing out on. And that's their home base of operations is Twitter. They're literally knocking out a bunch of their market. And then they whine that their stuff's not selling. They tell bad stories of really low quality. They block a lot of customers, they act like pricks online, and they talk about one side of a political issue constantly. It turns people off. Now, let's say they were all nice people. They didn't have any issues. Uh, comics are still rapidly declining because new blood isn't coming in. You know, everyone's kind of aging up and out. There's no, there's no young people coming into the medium. That's where you're seeing a lot of the decline right there. They can't really afford books. Uh, there's just there's a lot of issues for them to get into what's going on with the comic industry. But my point is that other companies deal with this all the time, and they do just fine. The comic industry's problem is that it's on the decline. That's the real issue. And they seem to think that all of those pirated books are going to transfer to sales. That's not going to happen. But, of course, they're going to sit there in their ivory towers and shake their fingers at people. Uh, they've been doing that for years, and it hasn't really worked for them that well. Um, my advice would be to make a product that people actually want to buy. They're not very good at doing that, though, because most of them aren't very good at writing. Writing's the biggest problem. A lot of the art's still pretty good. Uh, the main problem is the writing and a lot of the people that are in charge of the industry. But, anyway, that's a whole other issue. Uh, just make better products. That's how you make it not a problem. Anime and manga doing just fine despite having the same issues. Um, and these people, man, they're terrible. They've done such nasty stuff. Uh, if you've ever heard of the channel Comics Matter, it used to be the channel Diversity in Comics. Uh, there's literally, there was literally a Facebook group of comic book professionals talking about the family of the man, like talking about his children and, you know, where they go to school and all kinds of stuff. It was disgusting. And the only reason that they didn't pursue that is because they thought it would be a bad optic if they did that. It would look bad. Not They didn't think it was wrong to do that it would look bad. These people are terrible. 
The only people I feel bad for are comic shops. Uh, the people that work in the industry, most of them are pretty nasty. And uh, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Anyway, leave me your comments. What do you think about all this? Uh, likes and comments definitely help videos, so please consider doing that. Uh, sharing the video also helps. Make sure you're still subscribed as well. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.